Here's my custom potato cannon. On the end, we've got a 4-inch PVC end cap that unscrews so that I can spray in hairspray. It's all black because it's got graphite on it to make it easier to go on. Then I've got a 2-foot section a 4-inch wide PVC pipe that goes to a 4-inch to 2-inch reducer that's this part Makes it go from 4 inch pipe to 2 inch pipe. After that it's got two 90 degree 2 inch street bends. Where it has a male and a female end. And after that it's got a 5 foot long section of 2 inch PVC pipe. This is all a schedule 40 PVC pipe with um, 280 PSI maximum limit. I also made this custom potato cutter. It's a piece of 2 inch PVC pipe with a 2 inch PVC coupling on the end. I ground down this end so it's sharp. Stick potato in here, slam it down on something, and you get a potato ready to go in the barrel. The igniter system is just a, uh, the igniter for a standard barbecue grill. Every time you push it, it makes a single spark. It's the inside. The way I mounted this is I drilled the hole wide enough for the uh, spark, or for the button. And I drilled a smaller hole to the bottom half. Let's see if I can get that in the camera. Right there. Then I bent out one of the ends of the actual sparking unit that you can see in there. I'm going to get a flashlight. It's sort of seen there. Then I bent out one of the ends of the actual uh, part that makes the spark down there. Drilled a hole through that using the hole that I made for the igniter. And then I uh, tapped the PVC pipe and threaded a screw in there and tightened it from the inside going through the igniter using this hole. And I just connected the wires up, put this in there, sealed it up. How you use this is you just... Uh, stick a potato in the barrel then you shove it down there with a large object like a broomstick I just use normal broomstick without the broom of course and once, the, once it's all the way at the end you don't want, really want it to go into the 90 degree bend that's probably not good for it once it's right around the end of the 5 foot 2 inch pipe you fill this combustion chamber with a lot of hairspray we well, have to unscrew it, of course. Once you fill it up with lots of hairspray, you close it up real fast, aim where you want, and fire. So far, this has this worked really well. Only problem is um, when you use hairspray, it leaves a really sticky residue because I guess it all doesn't doesn't always burn every time. We also got this fun little uh, projectile. It's an old Vortex rocket. It's like a Nerf football with a tail on the end. This fits perfectly, as you can see with this little uh, two-inch section here, inside the barrel. When I fired this, it went uh, well over 350 feet, and that was um, that wasn't even aiming at the best angle. That was just random guess. If I had aimed it any farther, it probably would have gone, uh, and got lost behind some houses. Three, two, one. I think he used enough this time.
That didn't go very far. Turn <laughs> into the water. Oh well, it's all good to do it. Three, two, one. Uh oh. <laughs> I think that one didn't have enough hairspray. Okay, this is this potato cannon shooting halfway at that box. What apple? Pretty good box. Now we're going to launch a vortex. Move to the left. We're going to launch over there. Okay. Hey, Okay, now follow me with the camera. Point it at the garage area. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> I think I went in the alley. That potato cannon launched this vortex all the way from there, way over there, to here. I think that's about half a block. I'd say that's good for a little foam football.